Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to be comparing speeds of seven of the most popular VPNs currently on the market. You'll see on the left of my screen here, I have Express, Surfshark, IPVanish, Nord, Proton VPN, Private Internet Access, and CyberGhost VPN. And for the purposes of this video, I have purchased a plan for each of these VPNs. So I probably spent over $100, guys, just so I could accurately test out the speeds of all of these VPNs. I am on my MacBook computer here, so I am using the same device. I'll be using speedtest.net to make sure that I am using the exact same you know, speed test mechanism. And I'm also on Google Fiber on Wi-Fi connection. So I just wanna make sure that there are no other variables when I perform this speed test. So if you go to YouTube, and the purpose of me having this screen up here is if you go to YouTube and you search, you know, what is the fastest VPN, you're probably gonna see some biased results here. So, you know, we have NordVPN here, Surfshark here, here's the fastest VPN, fastest VPN, blah, blah, blah. There's always going to be some bias behind, you know, the fastest VPN or when a YouTuber is recommending a VPN to their audience. And guys, I wanna show you here in real time, and I'm just looking at speeds here in this example, of which VPN is the fastest in this example. So the first VPN that I do wanna test out is ExpressVPN. So if I click ExpressVPN, it's going to pop up here on my screen. I'm just gonna click connect. One other thing I'm gonna to do too, guys, is make sure that I am on a similar server. So I'm gonna use Chicago in most of these VPNs. And I also wanna make sure that I am on the fastest possible protocol. So if I come here and click into Express, I'm going to click preferences click protocol, and you'll see here it's on automatic. I'm gonna click lightweight UDP. This is you know, apparently their fastest protocol here on ExpressVPN. So I'm gonna click this one, go back to the home screen of Express, click connect, and now I'm going to connect to ExpressVPN in the Chicago server. So after I am connected, I am going to launch speedtest.net, and now I'm going to refresh the page and my IP address should be different right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click go just to speed test Express VPN. And guys, I am going to fast forward this so you don't have to sit through all of the speed tests. And I'm going to fast forward this and I'll come back when the speed tests are complete. All right, guys, so here's the results for my first speed test using Express VPN. 593 megabits down, 312 megabits up. Now that is pretty incredible speeds, I must say. I am on a gigabit ethernet package and almost getting 600 down is, is great, guys. There's no denying that. This will do anything that you need it to with speeds like that. Um, so in the next, next example here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh speedtest.net. So I'm on a clear page. I'm gonna launch Express, disconnect, and now I'm going to launch Surfshark VPN. So I'm gonna launch Surfshark VPN. I am going to click the Chicago server, but before I do that, I wanna make sure that I am on the WireGuard protocol. So if I click this, I'm on WireGuard. I'm gonna click WireGuard, click back, click VPN, and I'm going to click the Chicago server, and then it's going to connect to Chicago. And once I am connected to the Chicago server through Surfshark, I am going to refresh this again to make sure I'm on the correct IP address here, and I am now, and then I'm going to click go. So now guys, I am going to fast forward this once it's complete. All right, so as you'll see with Surfshark, I got 556 megabits per second down and almost 300 megabits per second up. Now, if you remember with my speeds on Express, I did get a little higher speeds in terms of download with Express. It was about almost 600, 590 something, if I remember correctly. Um, so Express was a little faster in this example, but guys, regardless, these speeds will get done anything that you need to. So Surfshark coming in hot here on the WireGuard protocol uh, with some very impressive speeds as well. So those are the first two I'm gonna test. I just tested guys, ExpressVPN and Surfshark both had great speeds. All right, guys, so the third VPN I'm going to test in this video is IPVanish. You'll see here I am now connected to a Chicago server inside my IPVanish VPN application. So once I am connected, I'm gonna refresh speedtest.net so it gets the accurate IP address here, and then I'm going to click go. And now let's see what types of speeds that I get from IPVanish VPN. So again, I'm going to fast forward this video 
and then I'm going to come back once the results are complete. All right, so here are the results for IPVanish VPN speed test. You'll see I'm getting about 247 megabits per second down and 291 megabits per second up. So one quick pattern that I've noticed so far is all of these VPNs have around 300 megabits per second upload speed, which is very good. Now, when looking at the download speeds, guys, 247 megabits per second down is about cut in half from the first two VPNs I tested. Express was 593 and Surfshark was 556 megabits per second down. So just wanted to call that out. All right, so the next VPN I'm gonna test the speeds on is NordVPN. Again, NordVPN is another popular VPN. I am on the Chicago server with Nord and I am also on their fastest protocol. So when I come back to speedtest.net, first thing I'm gonna do is refresh this so I get the accurate IP address here, and then I'm going to click go. And guys, once this starts to ping my speeds in the background for NordVPN, I will go ahead and skip ahead after this speed test is complete. All right, so after the speed test for NordVPN is complete, I got 470 megabits per second down, and then for upload, I got 398 megabits per second up. So guys, 470 down, still a very good speed, faster than IP Vanish, but not as fast as Surfshark or Express. But however, the upload speeds have been the fastest so far at almost 400 megabits per second up. That's faster than anything that I've seen out of testing these VPNs yet. So guys, now I'm going to move on to the next VPN to test. All right, guys, so the next VPN I'm testing in this example is actually Proton VPN. So I am on the same, you know, I am on the free plan of Proton. I do not have the paid Proton plan, but I am connected to the United States server using Proton VPN. And guys, the reason I'm using the free version is because that's the most popular version that people use with Proton VPN. So I am connected to Proton VPN, and then I'm going to simply refresh speedtest.net just to make sure that I am getting the optimal IP address here. So now I'm gonna click go. And while it's pinging my speeds in the background, let's see what it gets for Proton VPN. And I'm gonna come back after this is complete. All right, so with Proton VPN, I got 348 megabits per second down, and I got 263 megabits per second up. So this is slower than all the other VPNs that I've tested so far. However, Proton VPN is a free, this is the free version. So for a free VPN, not too bad. But guys, I personally don't recommend using the free VPNs as they collect your data and sell them to third parties as that's how they make money being a free VPN. Um, so I just wanted to test that here because it is so popular. All right, guys, the next VPN I'm going to test is Private Internet Access. Now, Private Internet Access, as you'll see, I am connected up here. They do not offer a Chicago server, but Minnesota is also close to my personal residence. So I'm going to go ahead and test the Minnesota server with Private Internet Access. So now that I'm connected to Private Internet Access, I'm going to refresh speedtest.net, and you'll see it's I'm in Minneapolis now, and I'm going to click Go. And now it's going to ping my speeds being connected to private internet access. Again, I'm going to fast forward and come back after this is complete. All right, so as you'll see with private internet access on the Minneapolis server, I, and I did get 557 megabits per second down and 145 megabits per second up. So pretty good speeds again, less upload speeds than the other VPNs, but the download speeds is right on par with the other VPNs that I tested. So now guys, I am going to test the final VPN for this video. All right guys, so the final VPN I'm testing in this video is CyberGhost. Now I am connected to the Chicago server on CyberGhost VPN here as I have it pulled up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh speedtest.net and then I'm gonna come in here and click go. And while this is pinging speeds for CyberGhost, I will fast forward when this is complete. And guys, at the very end, I will compare all the VPNs that I tested in both upload and download speeds and give you my final thoughts. All right, so as you'll see, CyberGhost got me 378 megabits per second down and 444 megabits per second up. So not as fast as some of the others in terms of download speed, but it was a little faster than some of the other VPNs in terms of upload speed. 
So now that I have tested all of these popular VPNs on my MacBook, now I'm going to take you over to another screen where we can look at all of the, diff all of the different speeds in one interface. All right, guys, so I went ahead and made a chart just for this example. So you'll see on the bottom here, we have the different VPNs, Express, Surfshark, IPVanish, Nord, Proton, Private Internet Access, and CyberGhost. And right here, what this will all tell you is on the left, we have the download speeds, and on the right, we have the upload speeds. So for ExpressVPN, it has very impressive download speeds of 593 megabits per second. Surfshark came, you know, tied almost for second place here, 556 with private internet access. And then in fourth place, we had NordVPN for 470 megabits per second. And then in fifth place, it looks like we had CyberGhost at 377 megabits per second. After that, IPVanish and Proton were some of the lower tiered in terms of download speeds. Now, for upload speeds, what I'm seeing here is that CyberGhost actually has the highest upload speed with 444 megabits per second. But guys, keep in mind that for streaming, you know, for buffering and any other use cases on your devices, download speeds will be a more important factor, not upload speeds. Um, so just kind of looking at this, guys, what I can conclude is that it appears the fastest VPNs when combining both download and upload speeds would probably be Express, Surfshark, and also NordVPN. You can throw private internet access in here as well. So if we're just looking at Express versus Surfshark for this example, I do have a whole separate tutorial that goes into the differences between these two popular VPNs. And if we're gonna look at price, you'll see that Surfshark with our special discount link is under $3 per month, and you still get great speeds at this price among many other features. Now, ExpressVPN is a quality VPN, as I just showed you in this speed test, but it does cost almost $7 per month, and that is with their special offer here. So guys, you can make your own decision and do your own research on which VPN that you would prefer using, um, but that's it. Just wanted to show you a video that compares seven of the most popular VPNs in terms of how fast they are on my MacBook computer. Again, guys, this is Bodie with IPTV Wire. I appreciate you all watching this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment below on which VPN you prefer. And guys, I look forward to creating more content like this in the near future.